Good day, everyone. I'm Lauren Maxey here with your daily council update for the day. Today, I'm going to touch base a little bit on prepaid funeral planning. It's not the most uplifting in the world, but it's incredibly important. So a lot of our clients in the estate planning and elder law practice areas ask the question of what else can I do? What can I do now to make it easier on the kids? And this is something that comes up. Uh, so taking the power and, and basically making the decisions yourself so that it's not left up to the kids later uh, is, is very, very common where kids may feel necessary to buy the platinum package and, and go above and beyond with your funeral. And, and you may have been just fine with the gold package or, or what have you. So becoming empowered, looking at it, making those decisions yourself is incredibly important and a great way to, again, take a burden off of the kids where it's already done and they don't have to think about it. So a couple of things we talk with clients about as they're going through this process, I want to share with y'all. Um, first and foremost is make sure you're working with a reputable company. Um, so again, lots of companies out there, but shop around, make sure they've got a good reputation um, and, and it can vary greatly. So I like to, to kind of work with funeral homes that have different communities because that kind of leads to number two of if you are to, to move, would a sister funeral home in a different location, are they nationwide? Are they able to, to take care of you there? Um, so that is something to look at. And that goes into number two of, of paying close attention to that contract. So Number one, make sure you're working with a good company. And then once you settle on someone, looking closely at the contractual terms, what are they doing with the, the money that you give them? How is that going to be managed in the meantime? Is it uh, a amount that is set and it's not going to go up? Or will there potentially be additional cost for the kids later on down the road? Again, all different questions. But one of the main things we look at is if I were to move what type of benefits do I receive elsewhere? Or is this kind of a sunk cost? And, and just having those conversations so you're aware and can make that informed decision. Last but not least, I also talk a lot with clients on the elder law side of the practice about Medicaid qualification and eligibility. Um, so in order for this to be a protected type of asset, if you're going through the, the Medicaid application process, we want it to be an irrevocable contract. And so it's working very closely to make sure it's set up in a proper way that it's not going to be an asset that just has to be cashed out if you were to try and qualify for Medicaid. So again, we have those conversations all the time, can connect directly with the funeral home if you desire to discuss on how it needs to be structured to keep it a protected asset and not something that would have to be spent down to qualify for Medicaid. Um, again, lots of different factors, but we're here. Uh, we walk clients through it all day, every day. So if you have any questions or you want to start that conversation, give us a call. We're happy to get you connected with different resources in the community so you can begin to evaluate what are your wishes there. Um, it is not only getting the contract in place, but also thinking about things of, um, I share the favorite story of one client went through and said, here's the different pieces I want in my final service, and here's who I do not want to sing in my final service. This person monopolizes our service every Sunday. They're not going to monopolize my funeral. Again, you can get very detailed with your instructions to your kids, and they can handle that. But going through the, the prepaid process and, and purchasing a contract, uh, incredibly important to take it off the, the shoulders of the kids. Again, I hope that helps, and we're here if any questions come up. And I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day.